Blaze and the Indian Cave. Billy was a boy who had a pony named Blaze that he loved very much. Blaze was very gentle and obedient, and Billy took the best care of him. They often took long rides and explored the country. One day, Billy's cowboy friend, Jim, told him about an Indian cave up in the hills. I often camped there when I was a boy, said Jim. I like to see the pictures the Indians painted on the walls long ago. Billy's father and mother said he could camp there overnight if he was very careful about his fire. So early the next morning, he packed food in a blanket and set out for the hills. Blaze went along very eagerly. He liked exploring too. After riding many miles, they came to the hills, and there, far away, Billy could see the cave. This is going to be very exciting, he said to Blaze. I've never seen an Indian cave. Blaze hurried along, and soon they were there. As soon as they got to the cave, Billy hurried inside with a flashlight. There on the walls were pictures of Indians and buffalo and deer. How long ago they must have been painted, but the colors were still bright. Then Billy tied Blaze to a small tree in a place where he could graze. Later, he watered the pony at a spring nearby. They had come a long way, and both were hungry and thirsty. Billy rested in the shade until the sun went down, and then built a small fire and made his supper. The food always tasted so good when he cooked outdoors. He ate a big meal and soon began to feel sleepy. Using the saddle as a pillow, the way cowboys do, he lay thinking of the Indians who once lived there. It must have been very exciting when big herds of buffalo were on the prairie and deer could be seen everywhere. The last thing he thought of before he fell asleep was Blaze grazing quietly outside. He was very tired and slept soundly. When he awoke, it was bright daylight. He sat up, put on his hat, and suddenly his heart seemed to stop. There was no Blaze outside. His lasso lay by the tree, but Blaze was nowhere in sight. Billy knew his pony would never leave him, even if he got loose. Someone had stolen him. Billy could see tracks of the pony's feet, and he followed them. Even though he knew he could never catch up, he felt he must try to get Blaze back. He had to. After going a long way, he saw a man on horseback. When Billy came up to him, he saw that he was an Indian with a very wrinkled face. Billy told him about Blaze. Maybe Joe Rattlesnake stole your pony, said the old Indian. He's a no-good Indian. They followed the tracks together, and Billy was surprised at how much the old Indian could tell from them. Here, your pony tried to turn back. He didn't want to go away from you. When they came to a high ridge, they could see a man on horseback far away. Even at that distance, Billy knew it was Blaze he was riding. We'll catch him, said the old Indian. The Indian told Billy that Joe Rattlesnake would have to come out of the valley through a narrow canyon. If Billy hurried, he could head him off. The old Indian would chase him. Can you throw a lasso, asked the Indian. Billy nodded. Billy took the shortcut the old Indian pointed out and hurried as fast as he could. If he could only get to that canyon before Blaze and Joe Rattlesnake. Billy dashed down into the canyon and hid behind a big rock. Soon he heard hoofbeats, and there was Blaze. He did not want to go any further, so Joe Rattlesnake was whipping him to make him go on. When they came closer, Billy leaped up and called, Whoa, Blaze! Blaze stopped short, and Billy threw his lasso. It caught Joe Rattlesnake around the chest. Billy pulled as hard as he could, and Joe Rattlesnake came tumbling to the ground. The fall stunned him. The old Indian came up and tied his hands behind his back. I'll take him to the sheriff, he said. He won't be able to steal horses for a long time. How happy Billy was as he rode toward home. He had his pony again. In his pocket, he carried a beautiful red arrowhead that the old Indian had given him. Good luck, arrowhead, for a good, brave boy, he had said. Billy was very proud and happy.